Hi, I'm Simon. Welcome to Watercolour Wildlife. In this lesson, I want to look at laying out your palette. So I'm going to show you how to lay out the colours in your palette uh, and also show you the palette that I use and why I recommend you get that and also the basic set of colours that I recommend you get. If you haven't already watched my, I've got two videos on colour theory. I've got a really long one that goes really into depth on it and I've got a short 10 minute one. I highly recommend that you go and watch those before watching this video and laying out the colours in your palette because it'll all make much more sense what I'm doing now uh, and it will just hopefully kick into place and you'll see exactly why I'm doing it. So let's have a look at our palette. Okay, so oh, I feel strange that over here, a bit unusual. Okay, if you've done either of the tutorials, so sorry, I'm just going to grab this one as well. So this is the short version of the color theory video that I've done, and this is the long version. So I'm just going to put that there. Just going to line that up, make sure you can see that. And now you've done this, you can it's going to make much more sense what I'm about to say. Uh, and actually in this example, so in the short video, I did an example of getting three, three primaries, which is just a red, blue and a yellow. Uh, and then I discussed splitting those and having a split primary palette. So go and watch those videos if this is not making any sense to you. Now what you would do in, in your palette, this palette firstly is, is great. It has all of these markers on which show you uh, exactly where your primaries should go. So, you know, red here, blue here, and it's got this big notch. Then your secondaries with purple are these spiky, these spiky ones. So you've got green, orange, and violet. And then you've got tertiary, which is kind of a blue green, you know, a yellow green, a yellow orange, um, and so on. So, Instinctually, what you do and what I have done in the past is you grab a red, you know, if you're working with these basic three, this three color palette, you grab your red and you stick it in red and you grab your blue and you stick it in, you stick it in blue, you grab your yellow and you stick it in yellow. Now, because we're working with this split plot primary palette, because we're working with this split primary palette, sorry, I'll try and get my words out. Um, I want you to put your, your reds either side of that, that middle spot where your primary, primary color would go. So instead of putting a red there, you know, we've got two reds. We want to put those either side of that, of that red. So my warm red, and that's a, a pie roll scarlet, is going to go in here. You know, orange red. So that's tying up with the, the kind of orangey red. Then I want a cool red. And I'm going to put that this side of my primary. So if I mix those two together, I should get a fairly neutral red, um, which is something that I might want. So then we're going to do the same with the yellow. So here's my yellow. That's where I'd stick in my main yellow. But I'm going to go that one there. So that's my warm yellow closer to my warm red and then I'm going to put my cool yellow the other side of my primary the other side of where my main primary would go then I've got a cool blue so sorry that yellow is a Hansa yellow and that is a new gamboge um, so that's new gamboge actually put those there there that goes there and I've got a, a thalo blue and that's a cool blue. And again, these come, why I recommend this set so much is that it picks these colors so beautifully for you. It's a lot of hard work to, um, to plan this color palette if you didn't have the guidance that they had, or somebody's guidance to put it together. And this is ultramarine. It's a lovely color, color I use all the time. And that's your warm blue. So if you've got your colors laid out like that now in your palette, been and done the color theory lessons so either the short one if you're impatient like me or the long one if you've got the time um, and you can see this is exactly what we've got 
here. You know, we've got our warm and our cool, and our warm blue and our cool blue, and our warm red and our cool red. And those are just gonna help, you know, positioning them like that on the palette is just gonna help you uh, remember that's a cool blue, that's a warm red. You know, if I'm after purple, it's gonna be these colors, a really bright, vibrant purple. I'm gonna mix those two together. That's gonna give me a lovely purple. Um, and then, you know, the sim similar with these ones, you know, the brightest orange, the most vibrant orange I'm gonna get is between these two colors. So the, the two colors, the red and the orange that are closest together on this, on this color wheel. Um, you can't go far, far wrong with that as a starting palette. It's called a split primary palette. Um, and it's just a really good way of cementing the idea of color theory in your head and the colors that will mix well together for vibrancy. You can obviously break those rules and mix, it, you will not break them, but if you want to mix muted colors, you can, you can work in the reverse and mix um, more complementary colors together to, to mute them down. So I hope this helps you in terms of laying out your palette, you know, where you would go from here in terms of if you're going to buy more paints and, you know, at some point you're going to buy a violet and you're probably going to buy an orange and you're probably going to buy a green. No matter how much everybody tells you, you don't need them. You know, you can mix them, all of that stuff. They're still nice to have as a shortcut. So as you start buying them, do the same thing. Go out and buy those, th those three colors. So your violet, your orange and your green. But buy a cool and a warm version of each. Buy a cool and a warm version of those colors and pop them in there, you know, either side of your, your, uh, your secondary color marker. Um, and yeah, then do exactly the same thing. You know, that's how I want you to think about color. Forget about the names and all of that. Is it a warm color? Is it a cool color? Um, and lay them out in your palette in that way. So if you go out and buy a color, so say I've gone out and bought a uh, blue, where does it fall on this side? You know, is it more green? Where am I gonna put it in this palette? I might have bought a mid blue, in which case I'd put it here. You know, maybe a cobalt or something might fit in there. Um, you know, there are lots of other shades going up this way. You can do a, a Helios turquoise or, you know, other colors. So when you buy a, a color, think about where it's gonna fit into this shape. And what you work out is you don't really need this, this middle red in here. Um, but you might want to buy, you know, the oranges. So think about that when you're buying them. Uh, it's going to really help just uh, in your mind, kind of cement the idea of this color wheel and just force you to, to remember that warm color, cool color kind of combination. Okay, so that's it for this short little uh, delve into laying out your palette. Um, how to get your colors in the right positions and also it will help you when you go out and buy new colors. Where do you put those on the palette and also why you're buying those colors. So hope you've enjoyed it and hope I'll see you in the next one.